Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job chapter 13, verse 15. Howard Williams says that often the whole of the Christian faith is contained in the word nevertheless. It happens when prayer seems to be unavailing. Studdard Kennedy writes of Jesus Christ, He prayed to the Lord, and he sweated blood, and yet he was crucified. There is a time when all we can say is, Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. It happens when faith seems to be a losing battle. Studdard Kennedy has his own unorthodox way of putting things, and once in his rich Irish brogue, he announced from the pulpit to the shocked astonishment of a conventional congregation, there comes a time in every man's life when he must wonder what it is all about. He writes of himself, Every man, whether Christian or not, must sooner or later stand in the last ditch face to face with the final doubt. I know that last ditch well. I have stood in it many a time and I know that before I die I shall stand there again and again. There is a time when there is nothing left to say, but nevertheless I do believe. It happens when events are a complete contradiction of belief. I turn again to Studdard Kennedy. Just before one of the summer battles on the Somme in 1916, Studdard Kennedy had a communion service. There was present a young corporal in the full glory of his splendid physical manhood. As he gave him the elements, Studdard Kennedy spoke the well-known and well-loved words. This represents the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you. May it preserve your body and soul unto everlasting life. And this represents the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you. May it preserve your body and soul unto everlasting life. Three days later, as he wandered the post-battlefield, he came upon that same young corporal, a mutilated, shattered, dead body in a shell hole. How can anyone relate these two things? There comes a time when one can only say, nevertheless, this will not take my faith away. What about you today? Are you experiencing events in your life that are leading you to say, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done? Or, nevertheless, I do believe. Or even, nevertheless, this will not take my faith away. Why not lean with faith upon the Lord and say confidently with Job, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord his countenance upon you and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace the Lord may take his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and be gracious